Hey everyone, Jermaine Lucier from SlashFilm.com here. I am with... Hey, Alex from First Showing. Uh, in from, who flew in from New York to see the first nine minutes of Star Trek Into Darkness, directed by J.J. Abrams. We're here in uh, Century City, so I uh, uh, apologize for the weird slow jazz or whatever, smooth jazz. But uh, Alex, what would you think of uh, the first nine minutes of Star Trek? What you can say about it? Yeah, they told us not to say anything. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, uh, here's the thing. I wanted to be as blown away as I was by The Dark Knight because Christopher Nolan set a precedent with that IMAX prologue, which from a marketing standpoint, which is why they're doing this, but also from like a introduction of characters and story in the movie. And while I was really intrigued and into what I saw for Abrams' intro for Star Trek Into Darkness, I wasn't blown away, but I will say, and this is something I've been telling people we were discussing after, that... The footage that I was most blown away by was the montage of what you're going to see in the movie at the end. Yeah. Not the actual piece itself. Because there's... Well, I won't get into the specifics, but... All right. Well, what, did you, what did you have to say? I understand what you're saying, because the thing is that we saw this, uh, if you know anything about the IMAX series, Century City IMAX is a, like a Fomax, if we want to say. Yeah, like and most digital. of the footage, digital IMAX, and they're gonna, even though you shot it in full IMAX, uh, I think when it comes out with The Hobbit on the 14th, it's mostly going to be in these full IMAX uh, formats. But you can see very clearly that... There's things shot in full IMAX. In this first nine minutes, it goes from regular 35, and it blows up a couple times. Uh, I I mean, I understand, like, seeing the intro of The Dark Knight in full IMAX was pretty incredible. But I really love this um, because it, it just, it, it very, very quickly, it starts off with something, it starts off very soft and you, the way you wouldn't expect it, but then it very quickly jumps into fun J.J. Abrams Star Trek we, within minutes, yeah. we're just the, the Giancchino theme that you love from the original is just kicking really loud, and all the new main characters are in it, and there's this great action scene with really active 3D that's just like boom, like just coming crazy, and it was uh, good, good, good effects. Yeah, yeah, like, I do effects in my videos, <laughs> unlike Peter. He was he, there's this what what filmmakers are becoming, and I will agree with you that like visually and intensity wise, it's awesome. Like, yeah. It, it, but it, I guess my problem is that it ends in a moment where you're like, you, you wanted like ten seconds more. Well, of and course. J, and JJ's <laughs> pulling the hole. Well, you gotta go see well, it. We're not the, gonna give you anything. Well, that's the thing that's interesting yeah, yeah, too yeah. is that like in this footage, there are it, it answers and subverts a lot of weird things. Like yeah. in the trailer, you saw that the the ship was underwater in the trailer. People be like, why would a spaceship be underwater? That gets sort of talked about here. And I can say how. Um, they like everybody's yeah. curious about who the villain is. Who the villain is? Yeah, you'll see Benedict Cumberbatch, but beyond but, that. But but guess what? <laughs> the, the, the whole question of who the villain is kind of gives in question here, yeah, yeah. and it's kind of fun because of that. Um, it's playing with the conventions. It's almost as if this nine minutes was made to be seen six months before the movie came out, just to sort of show you well, this is a fun movie. It's like we have all these questions yeah. we're still going to answer but we're going to have it in the spirit of it. Like, for me, my favorite moment of the first Star Trek is when they first see the Enterprise and Kirk is all... They look at the thing, we hear the... The, oh, the, the yeah, Giacchino yeah, score. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, that there's a very similar moment very early in this movie, and it just gave me goosebumps right off the bat, and I was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm so ready for this. Great oh, action. Yeah, 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 about, yeah. Awesome. yeah that was cool. Uh, and uh, it's really colorful. And, yeah. It, and, yeah, and then, it, yes, it ends sort of like the Dark Knight with a big montage scene. Of uh, which is pretty much stuff from the teaser trailer. We haven't seen the full trailer yet. Um, well, which... I was going to mention that what I've noticed recently is filmmakers have started to use 3D in a way that's really immersive, hmm. and that you're not just seeing like here's a guy, here's his face, and it comes out of the screen, but you're seeing this. And I don't want to say too much about the scene, but a guy running through some places, or a couple people running through yes. a bunch of places, yeah. where things are like there's things flying around them all the time and different ways, and it's like all of that brings you into it, where you, like you really feel like you're on this world. And there were there were a couple times where I'm like, how the hell did JJ pull this off? Yeah, how did he? Sh this looks like he went to a freaking world and shot it. Yeah, how is he doing this? I know. Well, it's called digital effects, Alex. We're teaching <laughs> no, no, okay, I know, no, I know no. what you mean. Yeah. I, and what's interesting is that you're totally right. But what's also cool was they. Um, before it jumps into this action scene, there's sort of this more poignant, quiet scene. It's sort of, yeah. it's I guess the beginning of, I guess we're going to say the villain story in line. We don't know exactly, but that's sort of what it is. And even that, we're in this, we're in this like little quiet building, and there this deep focus, all 3D, looks really good. There's shots from over the head to sort of give you some like real scope yeah. of the scene. And it seems like he's really using the 3D well here. Um, the IMAX, you, you could see that it's going to be pretty awesome once you see it in a full IMAX. 
Yeah, um, there, there were a hint of some scenes in the final footage too that I was like, oh god, I can't I wait to see this in IMAX. Like there were a couple of scenes in this prologue where it's like, okay, this looks great, but like space battles and things going on where you're like, this is going to be an IMAX? And I, oh my god, it's yeah. going to look amazing. So, I mean, <laughs> get excited. The first nine minutes is great, and um, if you're not sure exactly how to see The Hobbit, go see IMAX to see this because it was really, really cool. I think. Yeah. You know, the last thing I'll say is that that opening you mentioned, there's like a brief tag, which it's like in a hospital and we don't want to say too much more yeah. than that. You'll, you'll see. And it, it reminded me of the way Abrams plays emotion, like in Mission Impossible 3, where he had that opening with Cruz and his wife. Yeah. And there's that countdown. And there's not a countdown, so to say, but where like, where it sets up this sort of emotional connection to someone that you don't really know and you don't know how they play in, but you're like, you've already got this emotional feeling for them. Yeah, it, it doesn't start like you expect. I mean, I mean, like, the action jumps in quickly. And J.J. said before, he's like, you know, the movie is called Into Darkness and people have been worried from that trailer that's super dark. But he goes, there's a lot of fun. And you get yeah. the fun sense here. Big well, action. Scotty, Scotty. Scotty. All the characters are yeah. in the first, like, nine minutes and it's hilarious. And there's actually a lot of, like, moral dilemma, some yeah. really great lines, some actually some quotes from other Star Trek movies. Yeah. Now we're getting ahead of ourselves. Anyway, um, it's only nine minutes. Yeah, it's only nine minutes. First nine minutes of the movie. We'll have more on Star Trek Into Darkness and stuff later in the week as we are going to visit Bad Robot tomorrow. Can't wait. Um, you can find more of my stuff here on slashfilm.com and at Jermaine Lucier on Twitter. And for showing.net and that for showing. Thanks, guys.